Hello Internet, welcome back to our circle pixel shader thing. <laughs> in this video, we are going to be looking at how to make circles in your shaders. So actually, if, you, if you've been at the channel for a while, uh, one of the first videos we did on this channel was how to do circles. And we're sort of going to take another look at that. It, the, the style hasn't changed, but we're, the application has. Uh, and so in this video, I want to focus specifically on how to just render a circle. So we're going to take the entire image and we're just going to render a circle. We're not going to be modifying our existing shader. Uh, this is going to be starting from scratch. And then in the next video, we're going to actually merge these two and get all of these little squares to be little circles instead. Uh, and so that is sort of the progression where I'm looking at. So let's just create a new shader here and we'll call it our circle shader. That's not a great name, but it's going to work. <laughs> and let's turn that into a material. So we'll just call it the circle. That also is not a good name, but it should work. Uh, so there's that. Let's assign it to our quad. Does this work? Yes. Cool. Uh, so we have our circle shader. This is just a brand new thing. Let's actually, we don't really need to configure anything, do we? Uh, because so the the, the formula for a circle is just going to be anything that is within a radius of 0.5. Uh, and the way I'm getting to that is we want a radius to have a diameter of one because that is the width of our image. Uh, and I'm not talking about width as in like world size or something. I'm talking about width as in the UV coordinates. We're going to be using those again for this. Uh, and so our UV coordinates go from zero to one. We talked about this previously. And so what we're going to do is sort of find the center and then draw a, a circle around that. Or in this case, we're actually going to calculate a, a vector from the center of the image to the current UV coordinate. And if that coordinate has a length less than 0.5, it's inside the circle. And if it has a length longer than 0.5, it's outside. Uh, and so that way we just get fill in everything on the inside and, and ignore everything on the outside. Uh, and so what we can do with that is something like, uh, well, let's do a float position equals float two of uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Uh, this needs to be a float two, otherwise we're gonna get a whole bunch of errors. <laughs> and so this is just the center of our image. What we want to do is just position minus equals our input dot UV main text dot XY. And so that's just going to be the X and Y coordinates or the U and V coordinates of our, our texture system. And then we want the uh, distance equals uh, length, if I'm remembering correctly, that's the name of the function. Uh, and so give that a vector. It can be a 2D, 3D or 4D vector and it will give you a length back out. And what we want to do is I think just clip this. Uh, so what clip does is if, if the value is less than zero, it doesn't draw it. Uh, and so we want to do 0 0.5 minus the distance. So anything with a distance greater than 0 0.5 is going to be below zero. Uh, and so that should cause it to be clipped. And then we can actually just leave everything else. Uh, so if this clip happens, if it's below zero, we're not going to draw that pixel. Uh, and so the fact that we're actually look, doing a texture lookup and all of that things, it's not actually going to draw anything. Uh, so we should be fine. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got a circle. And the cool thing with this is even though like we've just got this white circle, I can put an actual image on it and we, it still works. We're still doing the UV look or the, the texture lookups and everything outside of it is, is not there. So that is like the, the most basic circle we can do. Uh, if we want to do something a little bit more, I guess we can, we can kind of turn this into, do we want to do that? We don't really need to, do we? Uh, but, but let's do it anyway. So we can do the step function. Uh, if I can remember how to do this. Uh -huh. So step takes, I think just one. So there's a smooth step, which takes three values and a step, which takes one value. If I'm remembering this correctly. And so it's going to be either zero or one. 
And so what we can do here is multiply this down here. So times equals that. And so what we're what I'm hoping to do is say uh, the step is going to function similar to the clip, except it's going to return zero or one instead of render or not render the pixel. Uh, and all of this is based off of my uh, intuition about something that I have not used in a few months. So this may, it wants two values. We can just provide it with zero for the first, I think. That That's not going to work. What am I thinking? Oh, it does work. Cool. Okay, I'll just mutter under, under my breath and, and doubt myself and it will it will work fine. Yeah, okay, so there we go. <laughs> so what this is doing is is the first value, or I think the second value, is one of these is a cutoff, uh, and one of them is the input. And I may have screwed them up and gotten them backwards, but it's working, so we're good. <laughs> uh, that's probably not the right way to do this, but we're, we're doing it. Uh, and so the way this is going to work is if it is below the cutoff, it's going to be zero. And if it's above, it's going to be one. Uh, and so then we're multiplying our texture lookup by that, which means we get black if it's zero, or we get whatever our texture is if it's not. Uh, and so that is what's causing this whole thing to work. I'd have a whole video on how to use step. I probably should should catch up on that. Uh, but it's actually a pretty pretty handy function. I just don't remember exactly how to do, use it. Uh, the easiest way I've found when I don't understand things is not actually to use <laughs> to use the uh, code base shaders. It's actually to do this. That's not right. What is shader variant collection? I don't know what that is. We're not going to use that. Uh, we, we should do something on those because I, I don't know what those are. Uh, they're not here. Never mind. We're going to skip this. This project doesn't have shader graph. Uh, so what you can do is you can create a shader graph uh, shader and then start playing with it that way because that will actually have labeled inputs and outputs and you can a lot a lot more easily see what's going on. It can be a little bit hard with code just because there's a lot of uh, flipping back and forth and it isn't always documented. You can always go and look it up. Uh, these functions are pretty well documented. Uh, but I don't I don't actually have any any good way to do that without opening a browser and and going there and and you you can do that yourself. So uh, but for the most part, guess and check. Yay! <laughs> uh, probably not the best, but it, it works. Just to show you what happens if we reverse these, uh, we should get the opposite effect. Uh, so if I, if I do this, we should now get our texture on the outside. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see, just because it's like light gray and white, uh, but the texture is now on the outside and everything else is on the inside. Uh, and that's because this is now, or zero is now greater than this cutoff value. And so when this gets, uh, or sorry, this cutoff value goes below everything when it gets further out. But when it's when the pixel is nearby to the center, it's, it's greater than it, uh, and so we're getting zero. So that's what's happening there. Uh, but yeah, that's how to do a circle. That was a whole group of tangents, but I think it worked. <laughs> it, it, it did what we wanted, so that's that's good enough for us. Uh, but this does does circles, so yay. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave it here. Uh, I'm rambling way too much for this. Uh, but yeah, this code is all going to be out on the Unity Visualizations project uh, out on GitHub. There's going to be a link in the description. You're welcome to go and download it and play with it yourself. Uh, and yeah, have fun. If you have any uh, run into any issues with it or anything like that, leave a comment or go and file an issue on the GitHub page and I will take a look. Other than that, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you really liked it. Uh, otherwise, leave a comment and let me know how I can make things better. But that's it for this video. So until next time, see you internet.